uh, you are asking one thing that uh, you want to see that your WBS sequence is uh, either uh, you know is correct or it need to be corrected. Um, is it right thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm yeah. going to explain you. Uh, you know the concept of WBS. Uh, I will just make here a little you know concept in graphical way so that you can have a concrete idea. So first of all. Uh, whenever we are going to detail, we are going to give extra detail about our project that is called scope management. Okay, I'll just go slow uh, step by step so that you can follow each and everything. So this is actually what we are going to understand scope management. You cannot uh, perform scope management uh, efficiently unless until you will apply project management technique, which is called work break down structure. You got my point? Now, yep. what is work breakdown structure as it is appeared, as it is shown by the name itself that you have to break down something. Uh, in project management, it is, uh, you know, recommended to detail your project, you know, uh, on the basis of different small units. How I will just give you an example like this. If you are going to construct one, box like this way, maybe you need to make boxes like this way, just for the sake of concept, like this way, you have to first con make boxes like this way, and then you have to assemble and you have to produce this box. This is your final product. You got my point? So this is actually project. Yep. Whenever you are going to uh, you know, make scope management, you have to bro uh, break down your project into different components. You got my point? Now, we will come on this side that how to sequence, make good sequence of our these boxes. I'll just write over here one thing like, let's say our civil construction project. In my course, you have already gone through different contract types. So I have discussed one EPC contract in which uh, this civil project, how it will be, you know, executed. First of all, you have to produce design. This is the major level one. So you have to keep this thing in your mind levels. Okay. Level one detail, level two detail, level three detail. I will also write here the things. Then engineering. Then, sorry, not, not design and engineering is same thing. Procurement. And then construction. Okay. So now this is actually level one detail. In this detail, higher level of information known to us that we have to prepare design for that civil uh, project. We have to make material orders that is called uh, procurement. And then we have to go for the construction. So this is level one information that is not uh, enough to plan your project. You know, your um, uh, what planning engineers do actually they make CPMs. CPM means a critical path method, but which is very, very important and necessary to conduct your project in successful way to get your goals. Then you have to produce cash flows, S curves. So with such detail, you cannot build those important things. You got my point? Now we need level two detail. So if you will break down these things, uh, further that will produce level two detail. How? Just give me a moment. I will, yes, here. <coughs> this oh, is no. level one. Now I will produce level two. Now you can see that in every project, there are some processes in any company, even if you want to activate some mobile package on your, you know, like to talk to somebody. So you have to follow some process. You will call helpline. They will let you know that you have to press this key. You, you have to go in that area, press this apply button, and then you will get that, uh, you know, package activated. Same way that is called actually process. In engineering sector, there is everything is based, is followed on the basis of uh, process. Okay, so if there is a design, uh, a deliverable, if, if there is a, a design unit, you have to uh, actually in scope management that is called process. Now, what is the process in my company? In my company, uh, there is one basic design and then there is detailed design. First, you have to prepare basic design. This is actually general thing. So, the two basic design and detail design. Okay. 
you got it so these two yeah. things will under this design category because it is level two information now you have to categorize this one more thing that in your construction project maybe some items are locally available and some items you have to purchase from some other country which needs some extra time which needs some extra planning and control so the locally available things are bulk items and the things you need to purchase from the other country are um, you know long lead long lead mean long time taking kind of things so this is uh, you have okay now construction whenever you are going to come up on construction it is your boq bill of quantity in which there is information uh, you know step by step everything is given over here so i'll just open up my one boq so that i can explain these things in more efficient way so here we have boq okay i'll share see here you can see boq it was there and it's gone off like this yeah yeah you yeah. have already this one so this boq you can see that this project we have to do so design is also required for all these items so procurement is also required for all these items that's why we have established those two deliverables now we have to go for the real scope management like these six uh, deliverables will be called as WBS. But before that, I hope you understand what I have explained in my recorded lectures that uh, uh, how WBS will be uh, broken down, our scope management will be converted into WBS. So like this way in construction, now this totally in construction area, totally you have to load BOQ, okay? But there is a methodology. Now this level two would become like uh, road work, all the headings over here. Okay, road work, structure work. I will just go for the three options. Okay, road work, structure work, and water supply network. Okay, so you can now see that this is under this one. These both are at same level, like same level. This is actually hierarchical structure of your project scope okay now again you have to use your uh, you know concepts your project management insight that how uh, you know you have to keep on breaking down all these things until unless you feel that yes now i can uh, approach some individual task individual work like excavation like concrete like something like that as long as it con uh, concerns with this area, basic design, the third level information I'm going to put, basic design for road work. This is third level, okay? Basic design from structure items, whatever was required in BOQ, because there are you know things we have to build, we have to make structure, and design is also needed for that item. Water supply network. Basic design for these three items is required. The same thing you have to copy paste in detail design because of, of course, after basic design, you will go for the next step, detail design. Okay, so like this way, this is done. Okay, now in bulk items, you have to go into BOQ that what are like bricks, steel, item, these items. And in long lead item, you can say something like electric panels. Okay, something like the sign boards, you have designed these things are approved by some for, foreign company. And this is actually, so you, now you can understand that one by one, you can you break down these things. Now I will make you host again so that, that I can correct your, uh, you know, this uh, 